In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of bounding box collision detection. In order to detect the collision of two objects, we need to determine if the two objects occupy the same space at a given time. We're going to do this with bounding boxes, imaginary boxes that envelop the objects we are checking for collisions. We're going to have a quick look at the theory, and then we'll break down the pseudocode. Allegro uses a 2D coordinate system with a top left origin. What this means is that Allegro considers the top left of the display to be 0, 0, and the numbers increase in size as they go down and to the right. In order to determine if two objects are in a collision state, we need to determine if any part of the first object occupies the same space as the second object. This can be done fairly easily with bounding boxes. A bounding box is an imaginary box, such as this one, that would envelop our on-screen graphic. Let's pretend that this 6x6 box occupies the same space as our in-game object. All of our objects have an XY coordinate that represents their local origin. In this case, we're using the top left. If you were using a center origin, you would need to offset from the center to get your left, right, top, and bottom edges of your bounding box. Since we're using a top left origin, we will only be offsetting down and to the right for our bounding box's bottom and right edge. We want to see if these two bounding boxes intersect. We do that by checking if the following statements are true. The right edge of box A is within or past the left edge of box B. The left edge of box A is within or before the right edge of box B. The bottom edge of box A is within or past the top edge of box B. The top edge of box A is within or before the bottom edge of box B. If all of those statements are true, then the bounding boxes do intersect and there is definitely a collision. The way we do all that is by taking the X position of box A offset by its width and comparing it against the X position of box B. If it is the same or greater, then we continue. We take the X position of box A and compare it against the X position of box B offset by its width. If it is the same or less, then we continue. We take the Y position of box A offset by its height and compare it against the Y position of box B. If it is the same or greater, then we continue. Finally, we take the Y position of box A and compare it against the Y position of box B offset by its height. If it is the same or less, then we continue. If all those conditions are true, then we can be certain that there has been a collision. If any of those conditions are not true, then we can be certain that a collision cannot have occurred.